Okay, so Trevor Noah did an interview with Tommy Loren that we all cannot stand and we all don't like. And I'm so happy that this interview happened because it needed to happen. That's just the way. Disrespectful to our culture. Black Lives Matter is just another, you know, just basically the KKK. I felt like that was very disrespectful because that's not what that stands for. White people, they feel like they could disregard all of our pain, all of our suffering, and we supposed to just not care and get over it. And 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 it's a thing of the past. Get over it. Who cares? Then they could sit and nag about things that they're heard about and, and complain and whine about Colin Kaepernick kneeling down to stand for what he believes in. You understand what I'm saying? And it's kind of like, we're not allowed to stand for what we believe in. We're not allowed to have a voice, but these people are able to disrespect us, call us the N-word, kill us and do things to us. And we are supposed to just get over it because it's life and it happened. We all need to wake up at some point. I mean, it's okay to sleep sometime, but we all need to wake up at our surroundings and really pay attention to what's going on because people are getting comfortable now. People are getting bold. And because of the man who is going to be in office in January. I watched that interview. I got so inspired. She interviewed black people and they all taken her side. They all cooned out to her. I loved how he stayed calm because a lot of people wanted to stay calm during that interview with her. Be that voice that a lot of us are not able to have and a lot of us do have, but we don't get the props or we don't get seen or we don't get appreciated for it. So, I think it was great. That interview was amazing. I don't feel like either one of them was attacking each other. Both of them were stating their opinions and their beliefs and it was a a really great interview. I even learned some things watching it. You know, he stood up, he didn't back down, he wasn't quiet, and he wasn't harsh or rowdy either. So there were no victims. I wrote Trevor Noah and told him how proud I was and how inspired I was by watching it, and I'm so glad that he was able to stay graceful and speak facts and speak his his truth, speak the truth on what's going on in our community because a lot of people are not doing it. Like I look at a lot of YouTubers who are black, have a white audience. So a lot of them won't speak on issues like that because they're afraid of losing views. They're afraid of losing, you know, money, losing viewers and subs, subscribers. I mean, a lot of YouTubers didn't speak on half of the issues that happened. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of the issues with the black men and the black women, a lot of people didn't speak on it and a lot of people didn't say anything. A lot of people didn't even say Black Lives Matter in their video. You know what I'm saying? And we do videos about other things and, and unnecessary things, but when you have the pla you have me who is starting off with YouTube and my audience isn't big at all. I'm starting off, I have three subscribers. I, I barely get any views. And you have people who have millions of subscribers and millions of views and millions of this and that and have a very huge audience. They're going on award shows and hosting or whatever they're doing. And they're not speaking on the issues. They're not talking about it and they have the platform and they have the ability to do so, but they don't want to. So when you look at the celebs that are not talking about the Black Lives Matter and going against it, you have to realize it's all about money. Everybody wants to protect their money. Um, yeah, I want to be that voice. I want to be that person that isn't afraid to speak on issues like that. Because I know a lot of YouTubers are. Like, I look at videos, like my favorite, some of my favorite YouTubers, and. I'm not gonna say the names. You know, that would be being shady, and I'm not gonna do that. But some YouTubers that went and hoped that they would speak on these issues, and they don't. You know what I'm saying? And if you're watching this video, you probably have a certain favorite YouTuber that don't even speak on issues like that as well. That was the reason why I started YouTube, because I wanted to do videos. I always wanted to do YouTube, but never had the courage to. 
and now I do, and now I have the voice, and now I have the camera. Um, my lighting is horrible, but that will be handled pretty soon. Um, but but yeah, you know, I, I plan on, I want to grow my channel. I want it to be big, as a lot of YouTubers, and I want to be able to speak on issues like that. So even some of the YouTubers who do speak on issues like that don't get the notoriety that they should because of the truth and the facts that they're speaking. So, and the lack of support, because a lot of people don't want to hear the truth. A lot of people want to see the fakeness and they want to see the, hey guys, and, the you know. and it's like, they don't want to hear the truth. So, a lot of times people have to fake the funk and be phony and be fake just to get, you know, just so they won't lose what they gain. So, make this video too long so I'm going to end it but um thank you if you're watching this video thank you for watching it I appreciate it um, make sure you like comment and subscribe to this channel share this video comment down below what you think I should speak on next what video I should do um it will it will help me a lot so thank you Peace. Step up in this bitch like I'm the one your bitch like Yeah, I'm the one your bitch like And I be talking shit like I ain't scared to lose a fist fight